Well, what I really enjoy about Stockton's uh, physics program is that I think everybody is connected, which I think is the mo one of the most important parts that people kind of overlook in physics is the idea that um, communication. Communication being one of the, the most important things about physics. You have to be able to talk to people, you have to be able to gather a connection with people, you have to be able to finish uh, calculations with people, finish ideas, concepts with people, and those are things you can't do alone. I like the, the student to faculty ratio. It's, it is very small, so with the physics department, it's already a small department as it is, so we have right now in like electronics, it's a one to nine ratio, so we get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time, which makes it easier to learn, or not easier, maybe, uh, I don't know the word. I don't know a word in place of easier, because it's physics, it's not easy. Yeah. <laughs> it's not easy. But we teach small classes with 10 to 25 students in the class. So as a professor, I get to know my students on a personal level. Stockton is a great place uh, to study physics, because we do have a very comfortable, nurturing environment that helps our students build their confidence. Part of the Stockton Physics students, the Society of Physics students, actually last year we took a trip to CERN, Switzerland, and we got that, the Stockton allowed us to like, fund it through Stockton, like the, through our student organization, and they covered, I think it was like 70% of the total cost, and they allowed for our, about 10 students and a faculty member to travel to uh, Switzerland and go to CERN where the, the Hadron Collider is located and see, get a tour and all like up close and personal with that. The study of Physics at Stockton is very interdisciplinary uh, because all the sciences really tie together and in today's fast-moving advances in science, people from all different areas in science work together to advance our knowledge. My favorite thing about Stockton is the research opportunities that I get. I'm doing two research projects right now. One is pure physics and one is interdisciplinary and it's in the chemistry field. We are taking 0.5 grams of flour and putting it in hexane to extract the vitamin E and then running it through an HPLC to analyze how much vitamin E is in each sample. A well, part of the observatory was um, research that had to do with interstellar light curves and comparing the intensities to see if there was an exoplanet going around a star and Stockton sent me to Boston's uh, American Physical Society meeting to present this information. It is kind of a leadership role for me to show that these fresh show the freshmen that it's not that scary to be a woman in physics and doing research and going further than what you think is expected of you. The Society of Physics students offers a tutoring program to help physics majors fully understand their material and also allows other students at Stockton to ask questions so they get a better understanding of what physics is about. I think it's one of the most important things you can do in physics because as I said, um, physics and maths, they go hand in hand. So whether you need help in either of those two, the physics tutor and the physics tutors, we're here. Yeah, we can talk to our professors, but it's important to be able to talk to your peers and be able to understand what's going on. There are several service learning courses and service learning opportunities where you can take what you learned in your courses and apply them to real life problems and to serving your community. Stockton gives us the opportunity to have experience teaching middle and high schoolers in teen and tween tech. Um, and it gives us hands-on experience and teaching experience, uh, teaching physics and other STEM related courses. We've, well, we've had a very great success with students leaving the, graduating from the undergraduate program and going into uh, PhD programs. Um, I'm keen to encourage them to, to go into data science because I feel that that's such an exploding area. It's something we're hearing about all the time, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and the physics students have a problem-solving mentality that is, is really well suited to move into that career. Stockton University jointly with three state engineering schools, offer a unique five-year dual degree engineering program. The program starts with three years at Stockton and concludes with two years at one of these engineering schools. The students attending this program receive two degrees, a Bachelor of Science in Math, Physics, or Chemistry from Stockton University, and a Bachelor of Science in Engineering from one of the three state engineering schools. The Bachelor in Engineering can be in aerospace, biomedical, chemical, civil, 
computer, electrical, or mechanical engineering. The program was started in early 90s and has been growing ever since. I feel if I had gone to one of the bigger name, specifically engineering schools, uh, I definitely would have just fallen into a statistic and I wouldn't have been able to uh, get the information that I needed because I have friends that go to some of these schools and they have very large class sizes and they can't get a hold of their professors because there's so many people trying to. Stockton University Physics Program has some excellent facilities. We have an atomic force microscope, we have an acoustics lab, and we have an observatory for students to do undergraduate research. We also collaborate with the chemistry department and the biology department and can use things like their HPLC and their gas chromatograph. The amazing thing about the atomic force microscope is it enables us to see things that are smaller than a wavelength of light. The atomic force microscope is available to undergraduate students to collaborate with the professors here and do undergraduate research. This instrument is not, a, it's not readily available to undergraduate students at other institutions. The acoustics lab is equipped for a wide range of acoustic experiments and studies. We can do everything from binaural acoustics where we study human hearing and uh, human perception including music perception, uh, sound source localization, uh, noise perception, speech recognition. Uh, we can also do room acoustics, we can do physical system characterization, noise control, um, a real wide range of things that we're able to do. We have a head and torso simulator mannequin which simulates uh, the human ear response. We have a soundproof room which is a good sound deadening chamber, measurement microphones, and various acoustic systems. Some of the friends I found at Stockton were um, some of the closest friends I still have today. It really felt like being more part of a family than it was just going to college and you know getting a degree and leaving. Um, it was just, it was currently the best time of my life. If you're looking for small class sizes and undergraduate research opportunities, then I believe that Stockton University is the place for you.